might have seen the post office scandal cropping up a lot in the news or on your social media feed recently. But what actually is it and why is everyone talking about it? Between 1999 and 2015, the post office prosecuted over 700 people. Sub postmasters and mistresses were accused of false accounting and theft after faulty software made it look like money was missing in some cases up to tens of thousands of pounds. The Horizon computer system, created by the Japanese company Fujitsu, was introduced into the post office in the late 1990s for tasks like accounting and stock taking. After its introduction, many employees actually complained about bugs in the system as they noticed it was incorrectly calculating shortfalls, but these warnings were ignored by those higher up. The error in the system destroyed thousands of employees' lives. Some were arrested, others left financially ruined, a number of convictions have been overturned, but many victims are still fighting to clear their name. There's no amount of money will, will give me back the last 11 years. Um, the loss of reputation that I suffered, the, the, the stigma of being a convicted criminal. I've had a lot of issues due to this, you know, diabetes, a, a heart attack, a, a uh, open heart surgery, a loss of peripheral visions, everything. So you might be thinking, why are people talking about this now? Well, the new ITV series, Mr. Bates vs. the Post Office, has thrown the issue back into the spotlight. The computer system the Post Office spent an arm and a leg on is faulty. No one else has ever reported any problems with Horizon. No one. You're responsible for the loss. I haven't got that money, and I don't know where it's gone. Alan Bates, played by Toby Jones, was the sub-postmaster who led the campaign to expose the scandal. Since the programme's release on January 1st, another 50 potential victims have come forward, and the former post office chief executive, Paula Venels, has given up her CBE. As of December last year, the government paid £138 million to over 2,700 claimants. Ministers also promised that every branch owner operator whose conviction had been overturned would be paid £600,000 in compensation. However, far fewer people than expected have received anything as this payment plan relies on victims going through and winning a lengthy appeals process. 59 victims of the scandal have died without receiving any form of justice. The Met Police is now investigating potential fraud offences arising from the prosecutions, while Rishi Sunak has vowed to make things right with the victims. Justice Secretary Alex Chalk said the government is giving active consideration to the idea of quashing the convictions of the sub-postmasters. Downing Street has also said Fujitsu will be held accountable legally or financially if the public inquiry finds it blundered in the Horizon scandal.